Hey there, I want to start a new series on Giuliani arpeggios applied to the acoustic guitar. A couple hundred years ago when they were originally written they were for classical guitarists. Um, but I find that they're really good exercises for anyone who wants to develop their right hand technique. When I started studying classical guitar in college many years ago, um, my professor was impressed with my left hand technique but not so much my right hand technique. So he kind of prescribed these arpeggio studies as a method to really catch my right hand up to my left hand. And so it's, it's consequently the left, left hand portion of these studies is, only, is very, very simple. It's only two chords. It's a C chord and a G7 over B chord. Okay, the way we voice these is a standard C, a nothing on the bottom string, and then three, two, zero, one, zero. And then the G7 is actually G7 over B. And it's nothing on the bottom, it's 2, 0, 0, 3, 1. And the third fret on the second string should be played with your pinky. Like that. So here's the first chord, C. And the second chord, G over, G7 over B. Now the very first study is a very simple one where you're just playing the top two strings with your first and second finger. And you're just going to play them on the quarter notes. four beats of each chord, back and forth. So the left hand, once you get it down, is very simple. Not even going to have to think about the left hand, that's intentional. You want to be think, concentrating on your right hand. Okay, the thumb on this first pattern is going to go fifth string, fourth, third, fifth, fifth, fourth, third, fifth, okay? So it sounds like this together, three, four. Quite simple. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more complex and develop your your technique and skills all the more, what I would recommend is to, to accent different beats. So, for example, you could accent the first beat and it would sound like this. Or the second beat and it would sound like this. Three, four. I'm kind of exaggerating these a little bit, um, but the idea is to be able to develop more dynamic skills in your right hand as well. Okay, so that's just the first one. I'm going to do another video, I'm going to do a whole series of videos on these, and I'm just going to kind of cherry pick some of my favorite patterns. And hopefully it will help you develop some, some finger independence um, dynamically and also give you a lot of different patterns to play because the tendency a lot of times is to, is to kind of lean on and depend on a couple patterns that you have in your repertoire and that's it. And uh, it kind of can make your playing a little bit boring, a little predictable. And I kind of like to mix it up and I, I don't want to be set to one pattern over and over again. Or a whole song. If you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm going to continue this series. I hope you enjoy it and uh, God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.